Hi, my name is Eric Wong and this is my Maker's Portfolio. What I made is a haptic device that can transmit forces to a user's hands. What this allows us to do is to simulate touching a virtual object or feeling a virtual texture. However, unlike research grade haptic devices that have to be mounted on the surface, this machine can operate untethered, therefore making it a lot more portable, but less primitive than the haptic vibration chips that are usually found in cell phones. I mounted two oppositely facing gyroscopes using 200 RPM motors with a 9 to 1 gear ratio to generate a net angular momentum in the direction of their axles. These two gear boxes are mounted on a 33 RPM rotating platform that generates a torque perpendicular to the net angular momentum. This induces a torque in the handle which the user can feel in the form of force. You can see that I mounted an integrated motor encoder on the back of each actuator to measure angular speed and acceleration. Of course theory is great, but we always want to test the accuracy of our prototypes. Therefore, I did a series of experiments that confirm number one, the forces produced by this device are perceivable by human users, and number two, that I can actually predict those forces. Using an Eulerian frame of reference for rotation, I was able to find out that the torque felt by the user is directly proportional to the angular speed of the platform and the gyroscopes. Overall, this graph shows that if you compare the expected force with the measured force, there's a very close one-to-one -one relationship. In fact, a linear regression line has a slope of 0.97, which is very close to 1, with 89% of the variation of the data points accounted for by that line. In addition, 2.5 centimeters away from the device, it outputs a maximum force of 10 newtons, which can definitely be felt by a person's hands. Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to see how I use the concept of pulse width modulation to achieve a constant user force, feel free to check out my manual.